London already had one of the world's most recognisable skylines, but after seven years of Olympic construction, parts of the capital now have some brand new landmarks. A key part of London's bid was its promise to renovate a run-down industrial area in the east of the city. And this is the result, the Olympic Park, the heart of the Games. The stadium will host the athletics and the opening and closing ceremonies. Next to it is the Aquatic Centre, which is designed to look like a huge wave. The velodromes here too, along with the hockey and basketball centres. And behind them, the Olympic Village, where around 17,000 athletes and officials will live. Once the Games are over, it will be turned into more than 2,500 new homes. But not all the events are being held in the East, and not all the venues are new. In fact, some of London's historic landmarks are being turned into Olympic facilities. This is Horse Guards Parade, usually the setting for royal and military ceremonies. Once it's covered in 5,000 tonnes of sand, it'll become the beach volleyball courts. Leading to the gates of Buckingham Palace, the Mall will be both the start and the finish of the marathon races. And that large lake is Hyde Park's famous Serpentine, where the swimming section of the triathlon will take place. And finally, on the outskirts of the city, one of England's most famous sporting venues is also holding an Olympic event. The original Wembley was the main arena for the last London Olympics back in 1948. This time, it's one of six stadiums which will host the football tournaments. Around $14 billion has been spent on these Olympics. The question now is whether London can deliver a successful Games and a legacy that lasts far longer than three weeks. Felicity Barr, Al Jazeera, in the skies above London.